here we are it's early January and we're now pulling the chestnuts and some of the other trees out of one of the air pruning beds just pulled off the sides before we start dismantling it I wanted to show you guys the root network and the mycelium that it built up just to get an idea of what's happening so these are all one year chestnuts and just down below these really big ones this is mint this is some mint that crept in there so that's not chestnut pull that out later um, <coughs> But here's a good example of like a lateral root that hit the side. So obviously this is what would happen typically in a uh, slick walled pot. You get this except it would start circling. Here it went straight down, found air at the bottom, and then that the, the reason there's so many branching roots is because this tip, when it hit air, sends a signal back up that root and for about the next four inches back towards the crown of the tree, it's just sending out branches the whole way. So we get really good branching patterns. So there's kind of a, a helpful visual tool to indicate what air pruning does. Um, yeah, so we'll check back in as I'm pulling these out and actually shake out some of the, the full root systems and have a look and just see how it turned out. So we've pried out a good number of chestnuts thus far. And uh, just wanted to give you a close up of all the awesome mycelial action going on in the soil. The soil is really happy. Tons of little critters crawling around in there. Um, and this was not soil when I started. It was basically wood chips like that, rocks, uh, some leaves, dirt, not living soil. And um, just kept adding a lot of good stuff this year. And yeah, it looks pretty happy now. Okay, here we are. We got most of the chestnuts out. Um, extra soils down here. Been able to keep most of it in the bed. Maybe, well, not most, half. Half of it. It gets easier after that first row's out. Um, wanted to show you guys the last ones and then hopefully show you the technique I'm using to get them out but these are the earliest chestnuts that were started uh, these were started without any sort of stratification they were just put out and uh, they did really well these ones had very little of the multi trunking that some of the other ones um, had that were stratified and germinated a little bit later so kind of an interesting comparison we'll see what's up with that um, so yeah, I've been prying these guys out and I wanted to show you an example of an air pruned root system and why we do this. So it's about a 12 inch tall chestnut seedling and this is the kind of root structure they were able to get growing in about eight inches of soil is where this guy came from. Um, I'll throw in some photos too for some close-ups just to see how fine like all the little root hairs are. I think we can get pretty close here. You can see all of that gets preserved and it comes with the tree and none of that wonderful root energy is lost. Um, we're gonna be able to keep all that, bring it with the young tree and then have this amazing highly branched super fibrous root system ready to um, help it thrive as soon as it's in the ground in its permanent home. So that's pretty cool um, visual confirmation. And then this is the pile of roots. This is a whole bunch I still gotta heal in um, you can just get an idea of just like how much root mass these things have. These are all with the soil shaken out too. So very fibrous, a lot of surface area, a lot of growing tips. Um, that's why we do air pruning. So I'm going to dig out the apples and grapes and then these last chestnuts and we'll do a final check-in at the end. I wanted to show you guys the technique I've been using to get these guys out right now. Using just a little tiny garden pitchfork, sliding it in underneath the chestnuts, pushing up from underneath the bottom. And then once I kind of break off a chunk of, you know, four to eight chestnuts, I'll take it open and just tease, tease the roots out um, like so. Use the fork just to shake some of the loose soil out. Once it starts to separate, got a good chunk there. And just ease them out. And I'll kind of just tap it around, get the extra soil out. And then once it's loose, I can just start pulling out individual trees, shaking off the excess soil like so. This way I'm not pulling roots and we're able to keep as much of that fibrous root body as possible with the young trees. There we go. Okay, the bed is now empty and we've got a whole pile of grapes. You can see all the head root mass. Um, we got a, a bunch of decent sized apples, all the root mass, some tiny apples, some of their root mass. And then we still got a bunch more chestnuts to um, heal in. 
And over here are some we've already healed in. So we're just basically sorting them by size and then packing the roots, not really lightly, but uh, just kind of shaking them, sifting soil around them so they don't dry out, keeping them in a, uh, a cool spot. And uh, yeah, so they'll be getting ready to go to their new homes pretty soon.